This video introduces how to use the WaveShare DSi screen. There are two types of DSi screens. One is an 800 x 480 DSi screen that is driver-free by default on Raspberry Pi systems. Here, we'll demonstrate using the 7-inch DSi LCD. The other type is a DSi screen that requires driver support for multiple resolutions. Here, we'll demonstrate using the 8-inch DSi LCD C. Prepare the above materials. First, you'll need to write the Raspberry Pi image to the TF card. Open the Raspberry Pi official website and select Computer. Select Software. Download the Windows version. If using a Mac, download the macOS version. Follow the instructions for installation according to the provided guide. I won't demonstrate the installation process here. Connect the TF card to your computer using a card reader. Open the Raspberry Pi imager software. Choose the system with a default desktop and select the TF card. Check set hostname. Set the hostname according to your preference. Check set username and password. For the username, enter the desired username. For the password, enter the desired login password. Check configure Wi-Fi. Enter your Wi-Fi name for the hotspot name. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Select the Wi-Fi country. Since I'm currently in China, I choose CN. For language settings, select Asia and Shanghai. Click Save and then begin the burning process. Wait for the programming process to complete. After programming is completed, safely eject the TF card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi card slot. Use a 15-pin FPC ribbon cable to connect the display screen's DSi interface to the Raspberry Pi's DSi interface. For convenience, fix the Raspberry Pi to the back of the 7-inch DSi LCD using screws and standoffs. Then, connect the Raspberry Pi using the flexible flat cable. Here, use a 2-pin power cable to connect the LCD's power interface to the Raspberry Pi's 40-pin GPIO header. The final installation looks like this. Power on the Raspberry Pi and wait for a few seconds. It should display normally. Software dimming. Open VNC. We've obtained the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and enabled VNC functionality. Enter the Raspberry Pi's IP address, press Enter, then input the account and password set earlier. In the terminal, input the command provided in the wiki to control the backlight brightness. After installation, access the demo through Start Menu Accessories of Brightness to adjust the screen brightness. Then, you can adjust the screen brightness. Prepare the above material. First, write the Raspberry Pi image in the TF card. The specific programming and installation methods can refer to the video for the driver-free DSi screen. Once programming is complete, insert the TF card into the Raspberry Pi's card slot. Use a 15-pin FPC cable to connect the display screen's DSi interface to the Raspberry Pi's DSi interface. Pay attention to the metal surface orientation and avoid reverse connections. Fix the Raspberry Pi on the display screen's baseboard using screws. Establish 5V power supply and I2C communication via a 4-pin header. This is the final installation result. Power on the system and wait for successful booting. Once it's booted, proceed to log into the Raspberry Pi. In this video, we connect it to the display to log in. Also, you can directly use SSH to log in. You can also refer to the WaveShare wiki. We have connected the 7-inch DSi LCD to the Raspberry Pi and enter VNC. Open the Raspberry Pi terminal. Step 1. Download and enter the WaveShare DSi LCD driver file folder. Step 2. Enter Unnamed AA in the terminal to check the kernel version and use CD to navigate to the corresponding file directory. Step 3. Please confirm the bits of the current operating system. Step 4. Enter the corresponding model command for driver installation and pay attention to the I2C dip switch. Wait for a few seconds. Once the driver installation is complete without any error prompts, proceed to restart to load the DSi driver for normal usage. 
Use the application demo provided by WaveShare. Please check the kernel version of the current operating system, such as the May 1561 kernel, running the following commands to enter the corresponding directory. After installation, you can open this demo by going to Start Menu, Accessories of Brightness. And then you can adjust the screen brightness. 